Hello, everybody. Well, oh my god, that was a terrible intro. Let me just start again. Anyways, hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the new save file. I have literally just woken up, so apologies for me being half dead. Anyways, let's do a let's do a beast run as Dark Judas. How about that? That seems like a decent one to go for. Um, and let's see what we can get off of that. Oh, what what is this? Okay, water bottle. This is a different type of water bottle. <laughs> um, so we get tears. That's really good. Tear size up. In hostile rooms, a water stream appears. Touching it will grant a tear rate buff that drains. Shop contains water bottle pickup that will grant a buff um, like from the stream that doesn't drain. Okay. I think we did see one of these water bottles before at some point, but the tears up just to begin with is good. And obviously tear size up is really, really nice. So, pretty happy with that. Okay, so there's our water stream. And then we that, that grants us this. Oh, dude, this is this is kind of amazing. I really like this. <laughs> so, basically, we're chasing down these water streams to just get these everlasting big old tears ups. That's really, really good. Okay, so basically, we just want to be using dark arts to make sure we can beeline it to this water stream to get as much tears as we possibly can. I'm really into this. I'm really into this. This is going to be really, really good, I think. Anyways, yeah, I'm I'm pretty tired because um, today is New Year's Eve and um, there's a lot to do today. Therefore, um, is this an Excel flow? No, it's not. Um, therefore, I am making sure to get my recordings done early and that means I've literally just woken up. Haven't done a recording literally moments after waking up for a bit of time, so... Forgive me if I sound a bit groggy, but we will prevail. Anyways, I just want to apologize for the shit show that was last episode, because <laughs> I had a bit of rage. Um, no, it wasn't that bad. I just, I feel like something, someone pointed something out and I feel like it's very valid and I need to make sure to not do it. One, one thing that I really dislike in other content creators, especially Isaac content creators, not not all Isaac content creators, but just in general, is people that basically their content is just complaining about the game and complaining in general. And last episode was was a lot of that for me. It was a lot of that for me, and I feel I feel like that's not my brand. I don't want to be the complainy guy, so I'm going to try to make sure not to be. Dude, this is so good. I'm loving this. This is a really fun item. I'm really liking it. Constantly chasing down water streams. We also want to be checking out the shop as well, apparently, for these permanent water bottles. Um, I'm going to do this just because that seems likely to give us something decent. I mean, we've got a trink out of it and a few penskies. Nothing amazing, but not terribly. So yeah, I just want to check out what's going on with the shop. So there isn't a water bottle in this shop. There is a very good item that I kind of wish I'd have saved my bomb for destroying the donation machine for. Oops. Oh well. Anyways. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. So, for the question of the day today, what's a new resolution that you think is really stupid? There's 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 so many that people that people put forth. But what's what's one that you hear people never ever stick to, or one that you hear people, that you just think, just, just, just admit that you're lying to yourself. Because <laughs> there's, there's definitely a lot of them. Oh, that was a bit of a weird lag there. Okay, give me that. Oh god, that fire almost got me. Well, I've got water, so you can't, you can't hit me with fire when I've got water. It'll never, it'll never hit me. Okay, good. Quite a lot more money there. Yeah, I'm really liking this idea of the water streams. In bigger rooms, it's a little more tedious. But it's not, like, that difficult, really. I'm liking the fact that it gives a tier size up as well. That's something you don't find a lot of. And tier size ups can be pretty good. Oh, we have... We have... We're rolling in cash right now. Lovely. Okay. Which makes me want to spend a key on this shop here, but I think I've got to go item room first, don't I? Right, do you have to be a little careful about going for the water streams here, just because there's just goddamn fire everywhere? Oh my god. One issue of waking up and doing a recording straight away is now my nose is, like, really, really itchy. Don't know what that has to do with waking up, but it does have something to do with it, trust me. Oh my god. 
But yeah, I want to try and make sure that my, my Isaac series is more fun and less me just complaining about getting bad items. It happens. I think it's just like, for me, I, I was sort of trying to like think about why. I think it's because like in content creation, like obviously your views somewhat depend on your thumbnails and how interesting items you get. And sometimes you'll have a run where you just get like nothing or like no interesting items. And so it makes the thumbnails a bit difficult. I think that's probably why. All uh, right, we got another key now though, at least, which is pretty good. Let's come over here and see what the shop holds for us. Definitely take the soul heart. Do you know what? Honestly, Mum's bracelet, it's not great, but it's pretty useful for just, like, being able to destroy tinted rocks and stuff, considering it's half price. I think, I feel like we'll make the money back on this floor. And it also allows us to get to a few things without using bombs, such as these bad boys. Lovers, what does Lovers do again? Spawn an item from the current pool, converts two soul hearts into a broken heart. Okay. That's really good. We just have to make sure we have enough health to make it sort of worthwhile. <laughs> right. Water stream over here. Just gotta chase down the water streams wherever we can. Oh, bloody go away, you. And by go away, I mean die. I don't just mean chill. <laughs> Lovely water streams. Gimme, gimme. Items. Like, this is, yeah, I'm, I'm liking this run so far. Obviously, Dark Judas is just, like, a chill dude in general. You can have some pretty good runs as this guy. Um, come on. Okay, there's, there's another penny. No quarter, sadly, but we can't always hope for the quarter. That's not always going to happen. Ooh, arcade as well. Lovely, lovely. Okay, yeah, I, I knew you were going to set all that on fire. I could tell. And, hello, sir. So, yeah, I've not seen one of the water bottle spawns in shops yet, but we'll see if that comes about. Okay. Um, host hat is pretty, pretty darn good. I'm not quite confident enough to use our lover's card yet, because that would leave us in just two soul hearts. Once I get, like, maybe one or two more, I'll, I'll, I'll use it. Also, I'm loving the way that our character looks right now with, uh, with the host hat on. That's, that's pretty beautiful. But yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do this and then record some Skyrim as well because I am just into Skyrim right now. Yeah, knew that was in here. Right, uh, let's take a rock in with us. Why don't we? Is there a bomb rock? There is a bomb rock. Yeah, what what a good way to start the uh, start the fight. Not bad. Just go straight for the sauce. Lovely. And we get ourselves blood clot. Not bad, not bad. I think we're just ready to go down. We're going to go, obviously, angel deal here. We do not have the HP to go devil dealing at this moment in time. But yeah, I'm quite excited for today. Um, Obviously, good old New Year's Eve can be quite fun. I think as long as you're, like, not going out, like, into, into the city into the town, not to clubs and whatever. It's a really fun night. If you try and- oh, I pressed the wrong goddamn button. That was stupid. I meant to press Dark Arts and I just missed it. Um, I think if you're looking to like go on a night out, it's this is like the most dreadful day ever because everyone wants to do that. But if you're- uh, ooh, what's this? Tears at pill each time you take damage, reaching a maximum effects. Brenth auto gulps the trinkets. Ooh, yes. Okay. That seems good. Good old girl pill. Um... Right, yeah. Uh, I, I, like, if you're trying to go out tonight, it's just like, nah. No, thank you. No one no one wants to be out on the tower in New Year's Eve. I mean, to be fair, I really don't like nights out anyways. I am very much an antisocial person. I won't say antisocial, but an introverted person. I don't, I don't want to go out. <laughs> um, I, I'll, I'll reluctantly do it, especially if my girlfriend wants to, but... I, 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 it's one of those things where I don't, I don't completely not enjoy it. But I have, I have a limit of, like, how much I can take of people. And when you're on a night out, you don't really get to decide when you hit your limit. Essentially, I have to stay out until everyone else wants to. Which is normally, like, 2 or 3 a.m. And normally by about 12, I'm, like, very much done with the night. And I can't... Like, obviously, literally, I could just leave on my own if I wanted to. But, like, I can't 
really. It's a bit, it's a bit unfair. Because I feel like it, my girlfriend would feel obligated to leave if I wanted to leave, so... I just gotta kinda put up with it, but I, I, I mean, I don't mind it from time to time. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, not let her have her fun, but it's just not my thing. Not my thing. Um, but, but what we're doing tonight is much more fun. We're, we're just having friends around for drinks and then going to a friend's house for some takeaway and board games and stuff, and I'm very much looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be quite nice. I think it's gonna be quite nice indeed. Ooh, good old luck penny. I have an interesting idea for a room here, having these guys do the protecting so you can't shoot, sh destroy the bubbles. And in here, we've got belly button, which is actually pretty good for another trinket. Um, yeah. There you go. And we'll do shop as well at this point. That's a lot more luck, I think, so yes, I think we take this. Yeah, good amount of luck for a little while. I think that's good enough. I probably should have been doing this the whole time as well, to be honest. I haven't really been uh, looking around or paying attention to our good old mushy rooms. In fact, let's let's do a little jaunt back and see what we can see. Okay, that we haven't actually seen any mushrooms up until that room, so I don't feel as bad. Excuse me, good sir. I did not think he'd make that that reach. Oh, wait, is this our first curse room, or have I been missing them? I kind of forgot that Dark Hearts gives you free curse rooms. Oh, look at the water spouts. There's so many of them. Like, I'm surprised there isn't a limit per room. They just seem to keep spawning. Luckily, the, like, for the, for the item not being too overpowered, there just seems to be an upper limit on the amount of tears you can gain. Okay, first curse room, and it's unfortunately one that isn't that special. I was really hoping we'd get some soul hearts so we could finally use our lover's card here, but alas, it was not meant to be. On a chest. Lovely. Yeah, unfortunately our soul hearts are not looking so hot right now. I'd very much like to use um, use our lover's card roundabout now, but I think it's just a still a tad risky. Still a tad risky. Um, let's see what we get from our boss, and then maybe I'll decide after that. I, I should still be looking for secret room. Realistically, I haven't really been doing that. I think I think two water streams just spawned underneath me. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> oh no! Oh, if I find that HP, oh, what about if I just get hit loads and lose most of my HP first? Genius, genius, hell! Oh my god. Okay, uh, so I'm I'm pretty glad I haven't used the lovers so far because we'd probably be near dead if not actually dead right now. So probably probably a good call by me to to stand off of that. Really, putting it over the gap, a little bit rude. I really like the sprite for the water the water uh, spurt as well. It looks really good. Okay, you two are dead, good. Not dead, good, but you're dead, good. Key and potential angel deal here. That did hit you, good. That also hit you, very nice. I could have, to be fair, picked those up and thrown them at you just in case I wasn't sure if they'd hit or not. You sat on one of the water sprouts, dude. Sprouts? Sprouts. Water sprites? No. Spouts? Yeah, spouts, not sprouts. It's just too close to Christmas. Do, do you guys like sprouts? I love sprouts. I think, like, they're, they're not something I'd have with every dinner, but considering they're special to Christmas, I quite like them. Hey, we get good old Pesci. Good old Pesci. Okay. We are carrying on down. We should be looking for our secret rooms, realistically, now we've got six bombs. But I feel like I go through phases of, like, min-maxing and not min-maxing. Sometimes I'm like really, really into making sure to get all my secret rooms and stuff and it serves me well. And other times I just completely forget like min-maxing exists and just don't do it. And I don't really know why. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, I suppose we technically only spent one penny on that, so it's not that bad. I, I, it's kind of cool to see that I can pick up uh, rocks while I'm in dark arts. Oh god, this is...
bit gross. Lovely. We got good old Yum Heart, the most valuable item for us. Oh lord. Okay, not not too bad because I guess if we get a reroll on the floor, we've got something to reroll. So there is value, but it's obviously not great for us right now. Oh, there's one of our water bottles. Look. We finally found one. Also, I just accidentally closed off the door to this room. Yeah, we finally found one of the water bottles on the floor that gives us a permanent tears up. Oh boy. This 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 boy, maybe maybe it's just playing in the morning that's, that's causing this, but I'm not playing great right now. I feel like I haven't been playing great for a little while, to be honest. <laughs> playing great has not been my strong suit as of late. It's not too bad, though. We got enough for a shop here, that's good to see. I'm really liking the fact that Pesci gives us nail tears as well. Even though I know I'm not any stronger, it makes me feel stronger. Uh, dice room, do you know what? We'll take a peep. We'll take a peep. Um, okay. That was not what I wanted to do, but it actually worked out perfectly. Okay, so we'll keep the lover's card in there for now, but we've got a spin down, which... Which we do now have a reroll for Yum Heart. Now, I don't know what Yum Heart will spin down into, and I doubt it'll be what we want it to spin down into. Uh, but let's take a little peep just in case it is something useful. Yeah, it's literally the worst. Oh, Yum Heart into Teleporter. That's exactly what we were looking for. <laughs> oh, this is a bit of a rough room. I'm not, not a big fan of uh, Mr. Krabby being... Uh, been our main guy here. Alright, cash room. You know you gotta help us out here. I mean, money is good, but unfortunately we cannot pay into the uh, trust fund of either of these young fellas. That would be regrettable. Right. Grab, grab. Oh, chest in a chest. Gotta love it. Yeah, we've been on we've been on four hearts pretty much permanently this run, it feels. And it's showing no signs of improving. Hello. Good sir, how are you? You are dead is how you are. Now I could spend forever opening up all of these mushrooms and hoping for magic mush. But do I really want to do that? The, the answer to that, as you might already be able to tell, is yes. <laughs> I decided that the moment I started that sentence, why I continued the sentence, is unknown. Come on, you know you want to give me it. You bastard. Where's our shop at? Might be able to get a cheeky little uh, spin down in our shop. Just got to remember our dice room contains the lover's card. We don't want to leave that behind. Reflected pill, I don't think so. We can get reflected things for free as this guy, but I don't think we want a reflected pill. I'm I'm not a, part, a, a position in my run now where I feel like taking uh, pills is a good idea. We get lost wallet, which is pretty decent. With a spin down, it spins down into void egg, which unfortunately is another active item, so it's not going to be great for us. We'll buy this. Um... I think we're probably at the point where we probably want to try and find secret room now, so let's let's do that. I don't actually know where secret room is, so let's have a little critical thinking and we'll we'll try and figure it out. Okay, you don't don't be like that. Thank you, Hurst Hat. Leprosy. Okay, here we go. We got something good. First of all, let's go down here and check if there's nothing better down here with our spin down first. Unfortunately, there is not. <laughs> yeah, I think spin down's probably worth it on here. Leprosy is pretty meh. Tech zero, decent. I don't mind a tech zero, especially if we get piercing, which obviously isn't guaranteed, but we might. We might. Okay, um. Where would secret room be exactly? Where would it be? It might be in the crook of this L-shaped room. That seems likely. Right, we got our lovers back. Yeah, oh no, it's not in the crook of that L. It's a weird one. Ah, oh, you bastard. It's okay, we got one of those hearts that like regens on killing enemies. 
As long as we don't get hit again while we've uh, still got this half heart, we should be able to get it back. There you go, look at that. Refilled. Easy as pie. Where is our secret room? Sharp Penny's kind of interesting. We don't have any on hit effects right now though, do we? I don't think. Oh dude, what the hell? Where is secret room? This is a toughie. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. This is interesting because these are full hearts now, which is pretty good. Well, I feel a lot better about our uh, lover's card now. Now, I could pop the lover's card in here if I was so inclined. But let's try and find actual secret room. Where the hell could it be? Because, like, none of the rooms that make sense are available. Um, yeah, like, none here... None here. Up from there, left from there, no. Yeah, can't be there. Um, can't be any of those. What that? This is here. What the? What the hell is going on here? We've checked the crook of this L. I'm hoping it's here. That could be good. That could be good. Hey! Very nice. Okay. So, let's pop this open. Get some HP here. Lovely. We'll uh, do this first. That is not what I was hoping for, but hello. Okay, I constantly forget how you work with your new attack patterns, so forgive me for being a bit slow here. He's a really, really cool boss now. He used to be very meh and like a super easy kill, but now he's actually got a little bit of a challenge to him. Okay, we've unveiled his burny bits. That was a bit stupid of me, it's fine. There you go. Right, very nice. And I think we will pop this now. And we got Lost Soul, which is pretty good, I'd say. I'd say Lost Soul's pretty good. He's not he's not the the best of the best, but secret room wise, he can be a good lad. Also, our HP is uh has gotten to new heights this floor, which I'm pretty happy about. Let's uh let's go and gain our reward from this Lost Soul. The good thing about getting Lost Soul like this is like, it's guaranteed to pay out because it's the end of the floor. Um, if you end up getting him early on, he's a little hard to keep alive. But getting him, we at least get one guaranteed payout and then we can try our best each floor after this. I say one guaranteed payout. I forgot that I hadn't done the boss yet, so... Let's, uh, let's reserve our, um... Let's reserve our thoughts of him staying alive until we actually know for sure he's going to stay alive, which... At the minute, I do not know for sure. Okay, no, we got it, we got it, we're good. Oh, really? Good old pageant boy. And it only gave us 7 cent as well. Bit rude. Right. Lost Soul, what treats do you have for me? A bit of Godhead, perhaps? No, three soul hearts. Certainly not bad. Not exactly Godhead, but... Okay, so... That's fun to find out. <laughs> when you enable Dark Arts, Lost Soul does not gain any sort of invincibility, so he just dies. <laughs> yeah, that's not what I expected to happen with that. I probably should have. The game is a bit cruel um, from time to time, and that's the sort of thing I should have expected it to do. But I did not, and therefore he is perished. A shame. Sweet boy, you will be missed. One thing we are definitely missing on this run at the minute is, like, damage. Our damage is pretty pathetic. Like, our fire rate obviously is, is good and scalable because of our uh, thingy item. But overall, our actual, like, DPS damage output is not very good. We've had, what, like, one damage up this entire time? And it was peshy. Oh. 
<laughs> That's not the sort of thing we were looking to see. That's not the sort of thing we were looking to see. A black heart's nice. This is our last floor as well. And okay, no, we got we got we got another floor. We we can save this. We're not dead in the water quite yet. We can crawl back. Our, our next angel deal. That shall be what prevails for us. Good thing is as well we can't lose this angel deal. God damn it. Did not mean to get hit there. But yeah, we can't lose this angel deal, so we should be mostly fine. Pick that up, please. Thank you. Keep your little flies away from me, please. Yeah, so I am on a bit of a bust on this floor, but you never know. There could be a reroll hiding around the corner. Shop. Shop needs to be good here. Please, shop. Please. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not great. I mean, puff stool is pretty good. But I don't really think it's going to help that much for us. Second secret room, lovely, unfortunately. A pretty mess second secret room there as well. Okay, I don't... Do I really want to spend extra time on this floor at this point? I don't think there's much else I'm going to find on here. Yeah, this guy's going to hit me. That's just a given. Oh, for God's sake. I'm trying to use the rocks where I can, but it's actually... Getting me hurt more than it's worth, I think. Yeah, let's let's not take more damage than we have to here. This guy being a uh, herming is it's tricky. Tricky fellow. We got Angel Deal. Blue Cap is very nice. Oh, see, Holy Mantle's obviously great, but I was really hoping for something offensive rather than defensive there. So this this next floor really has to schmack to, to make this a beast run that we can actually do. I mean, this is a good start. Um, I mean, not the best of the best. But I think I will take the Book of Insanity. It at least gives us a little bit more DPS output, potentially. Right, let's not use Dark Arts here and try and keep our little fella alive. Good thing is, our little fella will be, keep, be able to keep alive on the um, Ascent floors fairly easily. Now this guy. That guy's a freak. He's a weirdo. Unfortunately, I don't believe our little soul gains Holy Mantle at all. But that does mean we can use our own body to block shots, if we please. Secret disc. Secret disc. Good old secret disc. Ah, bah. Yeah. Didn't gr go great there. Also, yes, our damage. Finally. Not... Not what I was hoping for, as you can probably imagine. Little old, little old ghost baby. Good, good. We beat. We gained one point one eight fire rate from Gale Pill. God damn. Good old Gale Pill. Mm. Do, 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 do. Okay, we don't have a key for that at the moment. Let's come back to that. I'm liking having the uh, the D2 or whatever this is called. The spinny one around us. Is it D3? I think it's D3, isn't it? Well, that helps for now. Let's uh, let's use that for uh, just getting into the shop real quick. Um. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay. Oh. For God's sake, game. These rooms, they make me want to cry. 
Just let me out, please. Thank you. They're not actually that hard. They're just they're just a little annoying. <laughs> right. Good old Monstro, how are you? So yeah, we're, we're losing a charge every 15 seconds, but we're gaining double charge from doing rooms. <laughs> it's good stuff. We have not found our uh, card yet. We'll want to try and find that first. Probably quite preferable. Okay. I'm liking the uh, the extra spiked rocks from our trinkets. It's actually making it so that some enemies die. Right. Because if a spiked rock spawns somewhere where it wouldn't typically spawn, an enemy can walk into it. <clears throat> okay. So, so far we've not seen said... Said fool's card. There we go. See, that, that enemy just died instantly because spike rocks aren't meant to be there. It makes a little bit more danger for us. But I think overall it's going to hurt the enemies more than it's going to hurt us. Alright, come on, key master. Good. Oh. A little noise will never not be funny to me. There it is. We found our card. Have we, we've seen our item and stuff of this floor, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. We are Audi. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see what we can see. But yeah, I can't imagine the rest of this floor is going to be too great. Uh, the rest of this run, sorry, is going to be too great for items. The only hope is that Lost Soul can stay alive and, and help us. That is my only hope, just like Obi-Wan. Okay, I didn't expect you to do that, I'll be honest. Now, this is going to be a bit, a bit of a tedious kill, I think. Unless... Okay, unfortunately, I was like, maybe if she stands on a spike rocket, it does huge damage to her. Nah, she just destroys it. I should have thought about that. Oh, I lost my thingy heart. God damn it. Yeah, this is kind of rough. Tech Zero is really our dam only damage augmenting tier effect as well, which is slightly sad. It's okay, though. One more round of this foot and we got a... Good, good. Okay. One last floor, do you know, eh, nah, I'll, I'll stick with what I've got. I feel like I'll look for another trinket, but there's not much that could really turn this around for me right now, so. Right, really want to try and keep our boy alive here. Remember we've got Holy Mantle, therefore we can use our own body to block. Okay, he's dead already. I don't know what killed him, I'm going to guess a spiked rock killed him, but. Yeah, so in fact we might have to drop the spiked rock thing just to. Just to make sure he doesn't die on the spike rocks. I didn't realize they, they would deal damage to him, but they do. It's really on the ascent that we want to be uh, trying to keep him alive. But I was hoping to keep him alive on this floor too, but... It was not meant to be. Oh my god, get off me! Oh my god, do, do you know what? When I wake up, my nose is just unbelievably itchy and it just persists while I'm recording. It's very annoying. Um, Damage up. Taking damage up is an ever-increasing chance to give um, Sacrificial Dagger or very rarely Mum's Knife. I mean, I like the damage up, just just, just as it is. Point three isn't a lot, but it's a lot more than, we, uh, than we've been getting lately, so I'll take it. What kind of a, what kind of a goddamn room is that? Evil. Not what we wanted at all. This boy needs to stop taking some bad damage. There's a luck penny in here. Thank you. Gotta love that. Don't need the money, really.
A. Actual chance for piercing makes Texera way better. Half a black heart. Beautiful stuff. Tech Zero has become so much better now. And Pinhead Shot is just good anyways. Yeah, let's not with these stupid blocks, please. Shop by got an arm is good, but unfortunately Shop has betrayed us once again. Just dark arts through this. I don't, I don't want to deal with that. Oh my god. Ugh. Where is our boss? Here we go. Little bit of an annoying room, but it's not that bad. It is just a little annoying, that's all, really. It's not actually that hard. One last bit. Oh no, my holy mantle, what am I ever going to do? Right, hello, Bosky. It is time, right. We can keep our little buddy alive here. We can do it. Don't use dark arts. Don't get him into any promiscuous situations. I'm unsure exactly what's going on with this. What the fuck is this? Yeah. Um, no thanks. <laughs> Die! Please! <laughs> How on earth was I meant to keep my buddy alive with this? There's shit everywhere. <laughs> That's a pretty fun room in terms of, like, like, well-designed, but god damn. Let's keep my little buddy alive, he says. Hopefully. No, no, no. There is no herb here. There is no such thing as herb. I was so close as well, only like two rooms off. My boy alone. Why do why? <laughs> I thought the ascent. I genuinely thought this would be super easy to keep my boy alive, and the game's like, no, no, no. Let me give you the most horrible rooms you've ever seen. To be fair, even this room would have been really difficult to keep him alive in. Normally, the ascent has some really easy rooms, and today it's just like, no. That is not the case on this day. Look how close we were again. Come on, just let him shine. Shut up. Oh my god, we did it, finally. You want to give me soul hearts now? Yeah, you... You think you're funny, don't you, little lad? Yeah. But what? He, he lived? He lived through that? I mean... Good on you, little little sunshine. I most certainly was not expecting you to live through that, let's be honest. Same with that too. My god, you are a resilient little fella today. I respect you. Ah, but you're not resilient enough to survive that. Why doesn't he gain my holy mantle? It would be so nice. One room off. Oh, savage. 
I thought this would be where we gain our power. It has not been where we gain our power. Right. I don't I don't like these big bastards. I also don't like the fact that this guy is uh in the way. Yep, you're dead. Oh <laughs> He was meant to be our savior. He was meant to be the chosen one. And you've You've just flushed all my hope down the drain game. You really have. Meant to bomb that guy, it completely missed. I wonder how the water spurts are gonna work um, when we actually get into the beast fight. I reckon they're gonna look pretty funky. Right. We're getting so close as well. So, what I mean by the ascent should have been so easy, there's so few rooms to get through. I like the fact that we have permanent pin shot as well, by the way. I'm not sure I'm not sure why that is, but I'm guessing it's because of our luck. But I am in love with the facts. This 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 geezer needs to go, there you go. I forget how you work. You're not so bad. Pin shots just killing it for us right now. Not where I was expecting to go, but there you go. Huzzah, we got another one. I mean, at least it's not soul hearts, but uh, not exactly what I'm hoping for. I was really hoping for items at some point here, but... That seems a little, little too difficult to ask for. Apparently I'm asking for far, far, far too much. At least we have a lot of fire rate on our side. That's something. There's a black fly there that I just couldn't get. Oh god. Yeah, please. Please die. Thank you. Effigy is fine, but a bit late, I think. I don't think it's going to do much for us at this point. No, literally it'll do nothing for us. But we've got one more play. One more chance at Godhead. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, damn it. <laughs> it's like one of the worst items we could have got. It literally does nothing for us. Shame for shame. Anyways, we'll see. We'll see what we get from the good old mother chest, and we will count our blessings that we're alive. Oh, mother spine, pretty good. But I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. L let's see how this goes. Oh, he's dead already. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of bombs. I did leave a few on that last floor, to be fair, so I can't really blame anyone but myself for why I don't have bombs, but... Damage-wise, we're doing fine. It's a little it's a little bit slow, but it's not, it's not amazing. At least so far, I think we're basically fine. I mean, we're quite lucky in the fact that he just keeps doing the same attack over and over again, which is really easy. Grab all the water spares where we can. Dark hearts where we can as well. Up to 11 fire. This is the way we're going to augment our damage high enough to be able to, like, not feel too bad about losing all the, uh... All the damage ups we could have gained and we didn't get. Because now we just gain a ton of water spares and gain... An absolute shit ton of uh, fire rip. Yeah, I'm not. As you can tell, I'm not a big fan of this attack. I just don't like how many times he does it, man. Just chill out. You just gotta chill, my guy. 
you winged beastie. We've done a good amount of damage to him already. Come on, you're so close. Don't do the spinny again, please. Okay, good. Right, how are the water spets going to work in this area? I'm, I'm curious. Okay, they literally just pop up like normal. That's fine, then. As long as I can still get them, I'm happy. Yeah, piercing plus tech zero here is going to be our winner, essentially. That's how we're dealing our damage. Try and get the water spurts whenever we can. We're not going to be killing any of these particularly quickly, so we just got to roll with the punches here. I mean, this is not too slow, though. The fact that we've got permanent pin shots or permanent piercing really helps. Normally, it's only a chance for the pin shots, but I think maybe at 6 luck it goes to full, uh, like, every time, because we're at 6.5 luck. So, either way, I'm happy about it. Unless it got changed, but I don't think it did. Also, this guy has minions, which helps doing more damage. When he summons his minions and we stick them all up together, it does extra damage to him and to them. There you go, beautiful. We don't actually know like what our fire is sitting at. We're getting all these water spurts, but it seems good enough. We're doing good enough damage here to be pretty happy with the way things are rolling. Unfortunately, the bombs ain't going to deal any damage to him, no matter if I get him to land on him or not. Honestly, I think Tech Zero with the spin down was the best play we could have made. I think it saved us, or saved our damage at least. Cool. And then, yeah, this water bottle item. Really fun item to get right off the bat. It's been like the basis of our whole run, essentially. Yeah, I lost my holy mantle there, that's fine. We're gonna zoom off that way. That's fine, we'll keep going. I just like the fact that the water spurts keep spawning. There's no limit to them. Like, there probably should be on a, on a regular room. But I kind of like the fact that there isn't. Lovely. Right, big boss time. Not much we can do to augment our damage on this guy. We've got four bombs, not really that many. We'll try our best. Unfortunately, water spurts are going to appear underneath him from time to time. But, we can do this to grab them dark arts and get in there and potentially try and grab them. There you go. Look, I got both of them there. Probably going to take damage doing that, but... One minute. I've got an itchy arm. But yeah, I, th I think there's a limit to how many can be on screen at once, so if they're underneath him, they they're not going to be able to do anything for us. This is a good time to drop our bombs. Because he's literally sucking them in. Right. Just about done with this phase now. There you go. Swaps these and then swaps these straight back again. There you go. Straight back again. I still love the fact that the end phase always swaps him back again like that. If you have enough damage, it looks so weird. He just flip-flops. Either way, this has actually not been too bad at all. This, this this beast fight was way easier than I expected. I thought my damage would be really low for this, but honestly, with the fire rate and the water spurts, it's been absolutely fine. It's been like having high damage soy milk for the most part. With tech zero on top of it. Good, good, good. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. A very fun little run, and I'll see you guys in the next one.